Hey guys, Jeremy here at KL7EC. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Buddy Pole, the long version edition. I'm getting a lot of comments asking about to do a video on this particular antenna, so we're going to dive into it. We're going to see what we get uh, when you order it. I've been using this antenna for a little over a year now, so I think w with having that, uh, that much time using the antenna that I could give an accurate review. Stick around. All right, well, let's start off with what you get in the bag. Uh, first, you're gonna get this very nice antenna bag to keep all your parts and pieces in. Next, we're gonna go to the tripod. Now, this is a very easy tripod to set up. The legs here, you would just unscrew this and then this would telescope out and then that's how you can level it up. On the very bottom of the tripod, you have this little thumb bolt and that will screw into the bottom piece of the telescoping and this is very easy it's just a matter you just loosen these and then that's how it would telescope up so everything in this package is extremely high quality the next thing we're going to look at so this is the versity so you can see if you just put a telescoping whip here or a telescoping whip here then that will give you a dipo uh, one here one here and that way it would act as a vertical all right well let's talk about the rotating arm kit that you get so again our versa t and these just screw right in here and then you have these tabs um, on the rotating arm kit and then if you can see you have all these notches where you can put this thing in any configuration you want you can put it up in a 45 90 degrees just whatever you want to do uh, you can do it so why I really love this thing is because you can experiment with uh, with different antennas different configurations and then here's the other one that you get and there you go now you have a horizontal dipo or if you wanted to do the vertical just loosen this now you have a vertical we can do a lazy L, we would just move that one down to 45 degrees. So now you have a lazy L. Remarkable stuff. They really have thought about everything. The other thing you're going to get is the GAN kit. This is extremely easy to use. You just slip that right over the telescoping mass. Then you would just maneuver these just like so. Press these together and then on the guy rope you have these toggles they just thought of everything um, at buddy pole what I like to do is just loop it through and then loop it back through and then you would just pull it tight now that toggle is locked in there and it is not going anywhere all right the next thing is our coils like I said, I can't say it enough that everything that Buddy Pole makes that I've seen is extremely high quality. They have really went through and engineered each piece where it just makes it so easy and it's going to last. I mean, I've had this for over a year now, so it's just it's remarkable craftsmanship. You can see the tabs that, that you would put in. So this one is for 17, then I have this one set for 20 meters, and then this one is for 40 meters, which in Alaska we, we hardly ever use unless I'm camping and it's at night time. It's just a matter of the banana clip just going right in, and then this will attach to one of the arms, and then whichever telescoping whip you would use would go here. Next up is our choke ballon. Um, you would just clip that there, that there and then that would give you a horizontal uh, dipole but let's say you just have the versity and you wanted to run a vertical and then you would just move this one over here and then you would use this side and this side this side would be your vertical and this side would be your your horizontal on the choke ballot itself you have this strain relief once you put this into the versity this would just wrap around the mass 
and that will give it a secure connection on the mast and everything here has these caps which uh, for the BNC connectors which protects it. All right, next up you're going to get this little rollaway bag and this has uh, arms and your telescoping width. So these are the, the arms that you get. You, you get two of these and these are two footers. And then you get these telescoping whips. These are, uh, I'm going to say right at six feet long. Again, extremely high quality stuff here. So I think you get three of these if I'm not mistaken. All right, next up in the kit, you get 50 feet of RG58 coax and it has the BNC connectors on each end has these lovely tabs where you can put some strain relief again all these BNC connectors have a protective cover so it's it's very nice especially in my condition where I'm putting this thing through a lot of snow a lot of ice a lot of moisture so those caps come in very handy now this is something extra these are the longer telescoping whips a little over nine feet one thing that I would recommend is getting these knurled sleeves. This is where all your drain is, the weakest point of the telescoping whip. Um, so with these, it really helps with that with that strain relief as well. And I got the extension arms. I got two of these, and these are the three footers. You can actually add more three footers with the long telescopic whip. And then on 17 meters if you get enough you don't have to use the coil on 20 meters either that is something you can do if you don't want to use the coil itself you can just get longer extension arms as far as maintenance i do recommend just picking up a little brass brush and then every so often i will just hit, hit these threads because they do get some kind of oxidation on them so just a little just a little tip all right let's put this thing together So our varsity will just screw right on the top and we will just get our extension arms. Then your coils. And then your telescoping whip. And what I like to do, we'll just raise this a little. Go ahead and put our choke ballon in. Use the strain relief. We'll just do a nice secure connection on the telescopic mast. All right, so on our coax, I have another strain relief that I like to use. Connect this BNC connector. I want to do another wrap. All right, now we're ready to tune the antenna. All right, so we got the antenna tuned up. So currently on the Rig Expert stick, <clears throat> we're at a 1.49, 1.48, but we're still very low to the ground. So I like to shoot for a 1.5 initially. And then as you raise the antenna, this will, the SWR will start to drop. So we'll raise it up a little bit and see what it is. All right, we can't go too high because it hit my hex beam. All right, so we just raised it one extension on the mass. And as you can see, we're already at a one point. 24 1.23 all right let's dive right into the ipad all right if you go to buddypo.com you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom under customer service you're going to see documentation click that so that's going to bring you all the documentation for all the different uh buddy pole products so we're going to start out on the first one buddy pole manual so this kind of gives you just a breakdown of uh, 
of the antenna, its components. Then here, basic dipole tuning. Um, this is for the standard whips. That's not for the, the longer whips. But I'll leave, uh, I'll leave my notes in this video right here. Um, so this is what I use. So this is for the longer extension arms, the three foot extension arms and the longer whips. Um, as you can see, uh, 10 through 15 meters, I can use just the whips itself with the extension arms. Uh, once I get up to 17, 20 and 40 meters, that's when I would need the coil. But like I said, you can get multiple extension arms uh, for this antenna and then you wouldn't have to have the coil even on 20 meters if you get enough. Uh, 40 meters is stretched <laughs> quite a bit so you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to do that. All right so let's go back over here and, and they also did a, a buddy pole configuration report. Let's uh, have a look at that. Um, so here is kind of the the technical stuff. You have um, <clears throat> your uh, radiation pattern for a horizontal dipole, um, vertical dipole, you have an upper V, a L antenna. So some pretty good stuff if, uh, if you want to look into this. All right, so it comes down to the question, what do I think of the antenna itself? I think it's a remarkable antenna. I love the diversity of it. I love the fact that if I want to do a horizontal dipole, I can. If I want to do work some DX stuff, I can do a sloper or, or a vertical. There's a lot of folks that are needing Alaska uh, for their work to all states, for the work to all POTA states, and, and some of them are those weaker stations. If I'm using just a vertical, because all the, the noise you're going to get with a, with a vertical, it's going to be hard to hear those weaker stations. So I like using the horizontal dipole uh, because it quietens everything down where I can hear those weaker stations and make contact with them so they can get Alaska marked off on their list. Would I buy this antenna again? Let's say somebody stole it, granted that I couldn't find them and jerk a knot in their tail and get my antenna back, then yes, you know, I, I would buy the antenna again. The only issues that I've ever had with the antenna itself is with the choke ballon. Um, on these banana clips, you see this brass nipple that plugs into the Versity. After using this antenna so long, um, it kind of squishes that brass where when you put it into the, to the Versity, it's very loose. It's an easy fix though. So just get a small hammer and kind of uh, just temp gently tap the nose of this brass piece and it will flare it back out. So once you put it back into the Versity, it gets a good connection. So one of the things I get after people learning what antenna I use is, Jeremy, this antenna is so expensive. It is expensive, but it's one of those things you kind of get what you pay for, essentially. Buy once, cry once kind of, kind of mentality that I have. I want something that will last. I put this antenna through some very tough conditions, um, as warm as 90 degrees, and yes, it can get 90 degrees here in Alaska. Um, to as cold as negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit. And this antenna has withstood in those kind of elements, uh, snow, rain. I've never had, once had an issue uh, with the antenna tuning up itself. This antenna is not for everybody though. If you're in one of those places where you activate a lot of parks that are in city limits and you want to, or if you have to uh, keep a low profile, uh, the the buddy pole long version is just not the way to go yes it has a small footprint as far as ground footprint um but it's a very tall antenna um you know you're talking 18 19 feet with the tripod so everybody's going to see it everybody's going to know you're there essentially in my case i, I activate a lot of rural parks uh, where there's hardly anybody around so i'm not too worried about being seen well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative for you. Um, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Would you buy it? Would you not? And uh, thank you guys for watching. 7-3.